ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by of course with the season two update for warzone we saw a massive amount of weapon changes and attachment changes and it seemed like it was basically an encyclopedia a dictionary of just weapon adjustments attachment changes so on and so forth right and i have already seen so many comments over on twitter or in uh, yesterday's videos zach what are we supposed to use now what is the go-to weapons today i got you covered as always whenever there's a major meta update we are breaking down all the top meta weapons ranking them seeing what is currently in the top of the meta what's the most competitive what's viable and everything else in between so as we break it all down if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it and of course if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed around 55 percent of viewers watching are not subbed yet and every day i got you covered with all things going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button turn on that bell icon that way you'll always know whenever i post a new video also gotta give a shout out to gamer advantage you guys always see me wearing the frames and the glasses in every single video i love these things i wear them non-stop all day long because i'm constantly working on videos playing games staring at screens if you're looking at screens a lot if you want to have better sleep less eye strain all sorts of stuff like that gamer advantage has you covered feel free to use code immortal at checkout for a nice little discount so we're back here we are on our tier list which of course if you've been around the channel for a bit is a familiar site this is every single primary ranged and secondary weapon with the exception of melees ranked We've got top meta, the best of the best, competitive, which is pretty solid. You could definitely use it. Viable, which is, it's all right, but there definitely are some better choices. Below average, which I wouldn't really recommend using. Niche, which is good, but in very specific ways. And then garbage, there's no point in using these. First things first, before we go ahead and break down all the various changes from yesterday's update, we do have two new weapons, of course. The KG M40 AR, and then also the Whitley LMG. And uh, honestly, when it comes down to it, I've used these both a good amount in Warzone so far. I was grinding a ton yesterday to get them ranked up and maxed out. The KG M40 honestly really isn't anything that special. I think it probably sits inviable at best right now. It just doesn't feel very strong. It has no recoil. I will tell you that. This thing is probably one of the easiest guns in the entire game to use. It does not move, but it just does not hit. Even with the like proper attachment setup, which we'll be breaking down in the coming days when we go over our top 10 best loadouts and whatnot, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it just it does not feel that incredible compared to things like the Bar, the NZ, the STG, uh, the Cooper, the Bren, so on and so forth. It just doesn't feel like it's all that good, unfortunately. I imagine it'll probably get buffed, though, in the future to have it be more competitive. They always want the Battle Pass guns to be very good. Uh, the Whitley, on the other hand, very, very good, in my opinion. It feels pretty strong. It feels consistent. Lower recoil. It's not like the KGM 40 that you got to work a little bit, but it feels very strong and very competitive. So I think that's where it'll sit for now. I don't think it's top meta. It's definitely not comparable to the Bren right now, I would say, but it's definitely one of those more solid options. So of the two, I'd recommend leveling up the Whitley first if you're sort of stressed for time. Both of them, though, are all right. The Whitley, though, is definitely the uh, the more standout one, if you ask me. But getting into the changes here, you're going to be surprised because while we saw so many changes, it was primarily to the attachments. A lot of the weapons got nerfed for what it's worth. Uh, a few got buffed as well, but they weren't drastic buffs and nerfs, in my opinion. For instance, the STG, which I currently have in top meta because it's easy to use, it's reliable, it's consistent. Uh, it got an ADS nerf but it also got a velocity buff with some of the barrels. And I don't feel like that really makes it all that much worse. So this one is staying in top meta. The C58 got a recoil nerf and they uh, basically increased the recoil deviation. This was the first gun I tested last night. It doesn't feel any different at all. This thing still beams, yeah, it has more noticeable recoil than a good amount of these other weapons, more than the Bren, more than the Cooper, more than the STG, but it also has insane power. You do have to work a little bit more to use it, but it's absolutely one of the top choices in the game right now, up there with the Cold War AK as well. So the C58, while it did get worse recoil, worse recoil, it's still top meta for sure. Uh, the Volk, which I currently have in competitive, primarily as a close range sort of AR SMG hybrid, potentially sniper support. This got an ADS nerf. I don't think that's going to drastically affect it either because when you're using this for close range, you have some pretty solid ADS based attachments. I don't think that one really changes either. They, for whatever reason, buffed a lot of the pistols. For instance, the Clouser, which I have in below average, they did a pretty significant buff to the velocity, but it's a pistol in close range that's the only place you're using it velocity really doesn't factor in a ton in those zero to 20 meter engagements so i don't think that one changes either honestly i don't really recommend this pistol because its fire rate and its visual kick are just not ideal now the machine pistol i have in uh competitive here because it's a pretty consistent secondary for close range it also got a velocity buff 
but it's not enough to make it a top meta weapon by any means and it's already i'd say a little bit generous keeping it in uh the competitive category the top break is also in here and i think i'm gonna have to go ahead and move that one down honestly because that one's been there since uh the whole akimbo top break meta where it was pretty solid and i don't think it really fits in the competitive category anymore the machine pistol though it's pretty solid and especially if you can control that visual kick and some of that recoil it has it'll melt players up close for sure so i don't think that one is too bad either the top break did see a buff to the damage uh but i don't think that's enough to make it incredibly good i mean we all get to use it in the gulag and we see how inconsistent our shots are with it it's just one of those higher skill gap weapons that i don't really feel a need to use over something like any regular smg secondary right curiously enough the dp27 actually got a slight damage nerf it wasn't anything too crazy i believe it was mainly multiplier nerf so it's not going to make it incredibly worse i do still think it's very close to being one of these top competitive lmgs against the mg42 which has really good fire rate really good uh control but it doesn't have insane velocity and uh range so that sort of uh hinders that a little bit the type 11 has incredible range because it has the shrouded barrel i think it's called but its damage is a little bit lower so the dp27 is kind of the best of both worlds better damage better range better velocity but it's a bit slower so all three of these I feel like are very competitive in their own right obviously with the addition of the Whitley now so I think the LMG meta honestly is pretty solid with the exception of the Bren which I still am not a fan of uh speaking of the Bren they nerfed some of the extremity damage I was really really hoping for a big Bren nerf I'm very bored of the Bren meta I'm not gonna lie it is incredibly boring to not only use it but to be constantly killed by it because it's the only weapon worth using for long range because it's lack of a damage drop off until like uh 90 100 110 plus meters is just too easy anybody can use this thing and be ridiculously good with it and the multiplier nerf to the extremities is not i think the nerf that it needed we got to do something to either reduce the damage and get rid of that insane ttk over range or you're gonna have to drastically nerf that range if you don't want to see the bren in this top meta category in order to have it compete with any of these other lmgs the damage in the ttk over range has to change in some way so until they do that this thing's probably sitting in the top meta category which is unfortunate and like i said a little bit boring uh the m1 grand they adjusted the recoil and just made it uh more consistent it's still nothing special so i don't think that one's moving out of viable like i said it's weird because we saw so many changes but because it was mainly to attachments to make vanguard weapons more competitive over range the meta itself doesn't seem to be shifting a whole lot the three line i will say uh actually ended up getting an ads nerf so it's slightly slower to ads but it got a damage buff uh to the neck specifically which definitely makes it a little bit more competitive i do think it's getting closer to being a competitive sniper and honestly i feel like you could get away with putting it up here uh its damage is still a little bit iffy as is the velocity but with the velocity changes it should be a little bit better now a little bit more consistent over range and it feels relatively consistent to me uh from what i've used of it thus far uh the neck multiplier uh buff does also make it a bit better because if you don't account for that bullet drop and you, instead you miss a headshot and hit a neck shot it's going to be slightly more lethal now so that's a solid buff the ads on all the vanguard snipers i feel like could still use some work though uh <laughs> speaking of ads for snipers the ptrs it did receive a slight buff uh but it's still i don't think really worth using because this thing you shoot it once and you're looking at the moon in the sun basically you're in the sky it's really not all that good i have it in viable because it has really really good damage but it's really nothing special i wouldn't be using it over a type 99 or a car 98k and of course we're getting to those here uh next the car 98k did receive a slight nerf uh to the ads but it also got a slight buff with some of the velocities to make it better and they sort of reworked the ads on it with various attachments and for that reason i also feel like this now becomes a lot more competitive i've actually been using this a lot especially on rebirth as a more aggressive sniper ironically enough and it's been feeling really really good so i do think the uh the vanguard car is getting up there as one of those more consistent weapons also speaking of which where is the mw car this absolutely needs to be in top meta i'm not sure why it wasn't there but hey it is now then for the type 99 they also buffed the ads here and again with the velocity changes to make the barrels a little bit more impactful i do think that uh that makes things a little bit more competitive there overall and really when it comes down to it i just see these three snipers and then i look at the ptrs and i'm like yeah those are not the same they're not all just viable weapons they can't be in the same category together so i'm being generous i feel like a little bit there but they are definitely better than the ptrs in a lot of ways and uh more comparable now with some of these other snipers because of the changes that have been made recently now the mp40 which of course we all know is that close range beast right now uh they nerfed the damage range a decent bit but up close 
it's still gonna fry you know it's still gonna be very very good for those close range engagements where it's supposed to be used and i don't think it drops out of top meta for that yet either if they were to nerf maybe the ads a little bit perhaps the damage up close a slight bit then yeah we're talking maybe competitive at that point but because it is still so dominant up close i don't see a realistic reason to drop it out of top meta the type 100 which i do think is one of those top smgs honestly it got a recoil adjustment Again, not really a buff or a nerf there, just making it a little bit different of a pattern. I don't feel like it jumps all the way up to top meta because of that, and it doesn't dip out of competitive because of that either. Then lastly, the well gun got a uh, damage range nerf, which is going to be noticeable because the well gun was especially good in some medium range fights. However, it is still going to be very, very good for close range and still has one of the top TTKs in the entire game. So it absolutely is still top meta. You'll notice though, really not a ton of shifts in the general layout, more so now every Vanguard weapon here that you use for range is going to be a lot more effective and competitive against things like the PKM, the MG82, the C58, the Cold War AK, because they're going to have better velocities over time. Uh, but really, my standouts right now in particular are obviously the Bren, unfortunately, the Cold War AK, the C58, and the XM4 for range. The Cooper Carbine as sniper support is absolutely insane. Obviously, the Car 98K from MW is still one of the top uh, uh, ranged weapons and best snipers in the game but also i feel like with the mp40 nerf to mid-range the owen gun now is my new personal favorite smg the well gun is very good and has that insane ttk it does beat out the owen but the feel of the owen versus the well gun to me is just simply better so like my main loadouts right now are probably going to be the c58 and the owen gun uh the car 98k and the cooper the xm4 mp40 the uh, ak well gun stuff like that c58 can be uh you know matched with any of those secondaries like that mix and match all of these honestly but it's a pretty solid meta right now we just really need to see a change to the brand to make the long range meta in this game extremely extremely competitive and hopefully that comes in due time but that said that's gonna wrap things up for today those are the season two meta weapons anything in competitive here definitely solid except for the double barrel not sure how that ended up in there anything in competitive pretty solid anything in top meta obviously very very good if you guys enjoyed the video or if it helped you out, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed, every single day I got you covered with all things going on in COD. News, updates, loadouts, tips, you'll find it all right here. So feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.